Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about battery cell balancing and why this might be that you're not getting the range out of the EV that you should. So I'm going to explain how you can fix this on most EVs uh, later in the video. So if you want to do that, you can skip forward in the video. So I'm going to talk about what battery cell balancing is, uh, why we need it, and the two methods that are used to balance a battery. So firstly, what is battery cell balancing? So in a modern device like an electric vehicle, uh, a laptop or, or some smartphones even, you will have a battery which consists of many different cells. So in this case, I'm going to draw a simple battery with five cells. So So to start off with, we can see that we have a battery with five cells. And here we have the maximum voltage which the battery can be charged up to. And here we have the minimum voltage that the battery can be discharged down to. So as you can see in this situation, all the cells of the battery are at the same level of voltage, so they're balanced. However, over time, what can happen in an electric vehicle or any other device with a cell with multiple batteries is that one of these cells or many of the cells can become out of balance with each other. Now, why is this a problem? Well, what can happen is when we're talking about a battery, as you use it, for example, in an electric vehicle, it charges and discharges at the same rate normally. And what can happen is in this case, where you have five cells and one cell is fully discharged and the other four cells still have some charge in them, you cannot discharge this battery any further because this cell here, which is fully discharged, it cannot be discharged lower than the minimum voltage that it was designed for. Because if you discharge a lithium ion cell below its minimum voltage, you can actually cause permanent damage. So once this one cell is discharged to its minimum voltage, we cannot discharge this battery any more than that because we risk damaging this one cell. So to prevent this from happening, we need a method where we can uh, fix this situation and bring the cell back into balance again. So the first method to do this, and this is the easiest method to explain, is active cell balancing. So here we have the same situation where we have a battery with five cells and one cell is out of balance with the others. So how can we fix this situation? So what we can do in this situation is we can, with active cell balancing, we can individually charge this one cell up so that now we've charged this individual cell up and now the battery is in balance again. However, this method isn't commonly used in electric vehicles because it requires each cell to have its own charging circuit. This isn't very cost effective so most electric vehicles use the second method, which is called passive cell balancing. So how this works, so we have the same situation here, where we have a battery with five cells, and one of these cells is out of balance with the other. So how does passive cell balancing work? Well, we can't individually charge this one low cell up, so we have to bring all these cells which are too high, we need to bring them down. And how an electric vehicle does this is each of these cells will have a circuit which uh, is able to dissipate away energy from these cells to bring them down to the level of this cell which is too low. So once we do that, once we bring all these cells down to the same level, we can see that the battery is balanced again. Okay, so then once the battery is balanced, we can charge all these cells up again, and we're going to be able to charge this battery up fully and uh, not have any issues with this, the battery being out of balance. Now, how can you make sure that your electric vehicle uh, is able to balance its batteries? Well, most electric vehicles, such as the Nissan Leaf and Tesla Model 3, use passive cell balancing. So uh, how this works, uh, in an electric vehicle is so for example I tend to I tend to drive my electric vehicle from about 20% state of charge to 80% state of charge 
So this is why my battery is potentially out of balance and that's why I'm not getting good range because most cars need a state of charge above 90% in, able to, uh, in order to be able to balance their batteries through passive cell balancing. So the best way to make sure that your car is able to balance its batteries is to start off, so plug your car in at night on a level two charger. So this is going to be an AC charger between five and 22 kilowatts usually. So you start off plugging your car at night and I would recommend doing this since passive cell balancing, if your battery is really out of balance, can take uh, 10 hours or more to get all the cells balanced properly. So you're going to start off with your car and I would, I would recommend starting around 80% state of charge. So uh, now you're going to plug your car in at night and allow it to charge overnight to 100%. And so most cars will be able to balance their batteries, especially if your battery isn't terribly unbalanced, will be able to do this overnight. And so you'll be essentially unlocking the full potential of your battery by balancing it this way. So uh, what does this do? Well, balancing doesn't combat battery degradation. Battery degradation on lithium ion battery is permanent and uh, you, you can't change that. So this is only unlocking uh, some of your capacity which can be lost uh, or, or I say locked by this uh, unbalanced battery because uh, your battery can only be discharged as far as the lowest cell. So uh, how often would I recommend doing this? Well, uh, for me personally, I do this, I, I, I do this process about uh, once a month. So uh, why, so charging your battery to 100% isn't good for the uh, life of the battery if you do this too often. So I would recommend balancing your battery around once a month. Uh, so I, I would typically charge my car up to 100% once a month to make sure that the batteries get fully balanced. 